OS X line was the first thing Apple announced at WWDC 2011. They said this update includes 250 new features. Unfortunately, they only displayed 10 of those new features at WWDC. <laughs> The first feature they showed was multi-touch gestures, just like you have on your trackpad on your Apple laptop. This brings it to total operating system overhaul of, of gestures. When it does, you can do swipe between pages, just anything you can almost think of that you can use your gestures on your touchpad can be used in the operating system now. If you don't have a laptop but you have a desktop Mac, there's also the thing called the magic pad if you don't already know. It's a touchpad for your desktop. The second change they put in was full screen applications. This will allow you to, like it says, put your applications to full screen and give you more real estate and more room to work within the applications. Third, they've added mission control to OS X. What this does is it, it combines expose and spaces in the one feature and that then you can access them from one window that will pop up and which is like it says is your control panel for mission control. Four, if you might have already heard about this is the Mac App Store. This is not the App Store for the iPhone and the iOS devices. This is an App Store for the OS X platform which works just like the iOS platform and you can download applications from the internet. This is the same way how you will be able to upgrade to Lion on your OS X computer. You will download through the Mac App Store, which is a 4 gigabyte file, and it will automatically install that way. And it costs $30 for all your authorized Macs on your, your account. Fifth, you have a program called the Launchpad. What this does is you can use a gesture, and it will pop up all your applications right in front of you, instead of you having to go down to your applications folder down below, you can just do a gesture and all your applications will pop up and you can choose whatever one you want to open and it will close. The sixth feature that they announced is called Resume. What this does is like on an iPhone when you close an application for multitasking and you go back to it, the application is right where you left off. This is the same principle but for desktop applications in OS X. When you close like a Word document and the program is closed and it's not running anymore, you open it back up, that Word document will be open exactly the same way you left it. Autosave is the next feature included. What this does is it will save anything you're doing automatically without you having to in case you forget. It's always a pain if one of your applications were to close and you were working on a document like the power went out and it, everything just shut off and you lost your document but with this it will have a saved backup and you will never lose your documents again. Tying in the more documents with auto save and resume you can now duplicate your files which is called versions and what it does is it allows you to have multiple versions of your same file and what you can do is you can open up old versions of the same word document and then edit, copy and paste between those and what it does is it manages it in a way that it won't clutter up your computer with multiple copies instead of having to copy a file and then change the name and everything else it will just have multiple versions of that same file now that you have your document typed and everything you wanted to send that document to a friend to edit for you now they have a app called airdrop what this does is it's like a, a FTP file transfer if you will and you can send to your friend over this program and automatically just send the file instead of having to plug in a flash drive into your computer and then plug it into your friend's computer with this program they can be able to send files right to each other just instantly and the last update they displayed for OS X Lion was mail with the new mail application there are new search suggestions what this does it will recognize between a contact, a person, a subject it will recognize between those and give you a better search functionality in mail. OS X Lion will be available in July for $30 under the Mac App Store. You can use it again as on any computer that is authorized under your account that you buy 
lying with. If not, you're going to have to pay $30 again to upgrade. I hope you liked my video. To help me out, thumbs up this video. And there'll be an annotation up above right here that'll send you to the next video about iOS 5.